unit factor is basically a measure of financial responsibility for every portion of the condominium. So they are using it to calculate how to apportion expenses for maintenance and repair for all the common areas, the common property within a com condominium. Common property is that area that everybody is responsible for. So the only way to know how much you're going to you know, pay for in a particular uh, expense is by the unit factor of your condominium, which, which means the portion of responsibility you have in that condominium is always included in the unit title. The unit factor of every condominium will be in the, in the title of that um, condominium. Total sum of the condominium uh, unit factors must be equal to 10,000 for whatever reason, wherever they got 10,000 from. But this is the unit measure of it. Like every unit factor in every condominium added together must be equal to 10,000. Because this is written somewhere in the title, this gives clarity of anytime they want to share anything in the condominium, the unit factor is the only thing that can be used. Is it that you're trying to determine the proportion of common area expenses? If there is any expense to be made in the common area, maybe beautifying the, the outside, planting flowers, whatever they are doing, the expense, if you want to divide it, you use the unit factor to know what each condominium unit is going to pay. It also defines the voting right of the condominium owners. So your unit factor, if your unit factor, because unit factor is not in decimal points, it must be in whole number. So any unit factor that you assigned is also your voting right. So anything, if you want to vote in a condominium, is the whole total vote is counted as 10,000 votes. Then if we decide with this condominium is not going to exist anymore, that now maybe they want to close this one, sell it, or terminate the condominium arrangement. How do you allocate funds? If they make money from this condominium, who gets what? That fund allocation, the only formula that can be used is still this unit factor. So it's like it does three major things. It's a proportion of common area expenses split among the condominium units. It defines the voting right of each condominium owner. And then, is a fund allocation formula if in any eventuality the condominium is to be terminated. Huh? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, so can you give like an example for a figure? Maybe if they say somebody's unit factor is 250. Yeah. So the total flow, when they are giving 250 unit factor, will they also give you the figure for a total flow space? Okay, that brings us to this. Like the, the first thing is who even determines unit. The, the unit factor? The unit factor is determined by the condo developer, okay. right? Mm -hmm. And the unit factor can be determined based on the construction cost. It could be a value of the construction cost. It could be the size, which is what you're talking about now. It could be the floor space, floor space. that they're using. Mm -hmm. It could be the placement of the condominium. Like if yours is by the corner, mm -hmm. you know, like everybody will like the corner unit, it's right? More expensive. Yeah. So they might decide, okay, the one that is in the corner will allocate to it a higher value of unit factor. So if expenses want to be shared, you still bear more expenses because this place mm -hmm. is a desirable unit, mm -hmm. right? So, but look at what, if you see the arrow I put here, I put that whatever method they use. this guy decides to use, that method must be disclosed. That's the important thing. The, the condo developer is the one that determines whatever they're going to use. But then they must disclose it so that when you're coming, you already know that your unit factor is determined by so so and so. So now let's say, coming to your question, that they now want to use floor space to determine it. Mm -hmm. They will tell you in that title that this in the condominium document, they will tell you that the unit factor has been determined using so so and so method. Mm -hmm. So let's say they used the floor space. Mm -hmm. So this floor space. This can either be this this can either be in meter squared mm -hmm. or square feet. So it could be it could it could be square meters 
-hmm. or square feet, whichever way. But if it's square feet here, the same thing applies to here. So let's say this, the whole of this condominium, like from con num unit number one to unit number 250. Let's say if you add all the floor space put together is something like uh, 5,500 square meters, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. This is this, the, the total the of ev everything. And then this is our little condominium. The fl floor space, when you calculate this floor space, we get like 250 square meters. So if I have 250 square meters of this my space now, because they already said that they are, this has been determined using the size of the floor space. Yeah. So they will tell you this is what has been used. Now you can easily tell what is my portion of expenses. You know exactly what you're getting. So all you can do is this place, the square meters, mm -hmm. simple maths, right? Mm -hmm. Length times width. Mm -hmm. You know, if you have that 250 over 5,500 times 10,000 10, units. Mm -hmm. So this, that, mm -hmm. 25, but you can go this, go this again. Mm -hmm. So we have 25, 1, 2, 3, mm -hmm. divided by 55. Mm -hmm. So if we work the mass out, so 25,000 divided, 25, divided by 55. Okay, let me, let me do 25,000 divided by 55. So it's 454.55. Four, Four five five four four point point fifty. Five, yeah, just run up to fifty five. Five five. Yes. So because we say that condominium be, units has to be a whole mm -hmm. number, right? Yes. So we can either round it up or so round four, five, it down. Five. So this will be four five five, five. as it were. Mm -hmm. So when you go to the title of this condominium unit, you're going to see that this condominium unit has a unit factor of 455. So now anytime they want to share expenses, mm -hmm. it now comes back to this 455 as a factor of 10,000. So if the expense right now is like, let's say they made an expense of $2,000, mm -hmm. for instance, okay. what we'll now say is 455 okay. over 10,000 times $2,000. All the unit factors added together must equal 10,000. So why we use one of that five five was because we're talking about total space. Because they have said, they have told you we are using the size, the space to determine the condominium. If they had said they are using the construction cost, mm -hmm. so it will now be the cost of this condominium as against the general cost of building this whole place the, multiplied by 10,000, it will still give you the unit factor. It might not be 455 anymore. Mm -hmm. So they will tell you, this is what we want to use. So it all depends on what they are saying. So if they say they are going with... Um, um, the Construction cost or size. So, the unit, so if they are going with size cost, they will always give you the unit factor. Then you know there's 10,000 the, 10, is like the flat. Exactly. 10,000 is always... Always, always there. Yeah, that's the. You already know that it's ten. Exactly. Because where am I asking? There was one. I think they probably used the cost of the condo. Okay. The condo was worth four hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Okay. And the unit factor was two fifty. Okay. So they were asking what was the I think share for that unit factor for that. I think they had to do with maybe beautification or common space. Yeah. So those ones they gave four fifty. And as the cost of as the cost of the, the condominium unit, and, yes, and, and they gave another. Yeah, okay. that was, I think they were not asked what was the voting right or what was it had. I know they gave those two figures. Yeah. So that was where I'm like, okay. So no, the thing is, where, where you see the cost of the condominium, mm -hmm. that like I mean the the price of the condominium of, yes. is entirely different. The price of the condominium is entirely different from okay. the unit factor of the condominium. The condominium could be. 350,000 today. Tomorrow it will change to 450,000. So, what of the one is okay today is 450,000 and this is the unit price. And they say based on that 450, mm -hmm. 
can you give what will be your unit factor? Yeah. No, no, no. The mm -hmm. unit factor is determined by the condo developer yeah. when this condo was being developed. Okay. So is is a factor that is kind of constant. Constant. You can say the unit factor of this condominium unit is fifteen. And it's going to be in the title saying it's 15. So they will tell you, they will disclose to you the method so that you, you the, the, the condo owner, mm -hmm. you already know that this is how to, if they say this is the expenses, uh, we spent so, so, and so amount mm -hmm. to do so, so, and so thing. You don't need to ask anybody how much am I going to pay. If you get your letter from the condominium board yeah. that you're required to pay $65, you already know that, yeah, that's what I should pay. Because if you use this unit factor by 10000 multiplied by this expense they made, yeah, it should be 65 Okay. So it's going to be unit factor over... Over 10000 10, times, times whatever yeah. you want to divide. Okay. Anything you want to share, just use the unit factor by 10000 times that thing you want to share. But then they will tell you if it is floor space, this is how it's going to be. This same formula will apply to if it is by cost. It will still be the cost of this unit mm -hmm. divided by the total cost of the building times 10,000. So will they, if it's floor space, will they give you the two of them? Will they give you those two figures or you have to get it yourself? No, definitely. Like you, you will find whatever, you, whatever the developer is required to disclose mm -hmm. will be in the condominium in the documents. Documents, so yeah. and then you get it out there. Exactly. The calculation and yeah. give them the okay. You'll be able to determine this is what Just is required me. of me. Okay. 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 That will be that for now. That's about unit factor in condominiums. <laughs> you know, uh, and if you're liking it so far, I would like you to subscribe to the channel. Go down there, click subscribe button, share to your friends. Uh, a like, click like also, a very good. You know, so that that will encourage me, you know, to bring out uh, more videos like this one. It's me again, Chinedu Oboruche. I'm a real estate agent here in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Thank you. God bless you all. <laughs>